thoroughbreds took centre stage, tens of thousands of racegoers enjoyed a wide variety of cuisine, prepared by a dedicated army of people. Estimating the privately arranged catering in the biggest event hospitality village on the African continent was impossible. However, Gold Circle confirmed that turnover from their own catering efforts on the day, together with the Gold Cup Day at the end of the month, makes up for half the annual catering turnover at Gravel race meetings alone. It's difficult to imagine, but nearly 400 waiters served up 17,000 bottles of beer, 256,000 containers of minerals, 2,500 bottles of spirits, and 900 bottles of wine to patrons. Gold Circle's 40 chefs on the day prepared in excess of 15,000 meals, 8,000 of which were their famous Durban curries. What is it like catering on a day like Vodacom Durban July? It's a rush, a um, lot of work, um, it's a lot of fun. It's hectic, it's fun, it's potentious, it's time consuming, but at the end of the day it's what we love. The adrenaline rush is really amazing. Their grocery list included 2.2 tons of meat, 3 quarters of a ton of chicken, 300 kilograms of crayfish and 280 kilograms of prawns. In addition, a coastal city like Durban would not be complete without 2,600 pieces of sushi and 1,200 oysters. To complement these meals, there were also 120 pockets of potatoes, 280 kilograms of cheese, 150 kilograms of mushrooms, 250 dozen eggs, 30 kilograms of coffee, 20 pockets, not packets, of sugar and half a ton of rice. And all this just for Gold Circle's catered outlets on the day. Does it mean a lot to you to see people enjoy the food that you prepare? Absolutely. I think it's the highlight of the job, is watching people enjoy what you've made. Um, it's very satisfying. Does it mean a lot to you to see people happy? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> With so much on offer, whatever hospitality option racegoers chose, they were sure to be left feeling content and well satisfied.